Greetings, Jade here, with a glimpse of some grids from around the world. Crystal grids aren't a new thing. We've been gridding for thousands of years. Evidence of this can be found throughout history and the world over. Examples of ancient grids are megalithic stone circles. These standing stones arranged in a circle-like pattern were created from 3300 to 900 BCE and are seen mainly in Britain, Ireland and Brittany, although they have been found from Scandinavia to Israel to Hong Kong. Stonehenge in England is the most well known. The building of this henge started in 5000 BCE. Historically, Stonehenge has always been a place of great spiritual importance and still holds great significance today, particularly at solstices. There are various reasons for the creation of these structures. The most common theories are for the burial and remembrance of the dead, for the observation of astronomical events, to align with the solar and lunar cycles. There's an abundance of other spiritual explanations cited, Too many to mention here. Another ancient grid would be the Native American medicine wheel, which is also known as the sacred hoop of life. These are round stone structures built by the natives of the North American Great Plains and are said to signify the never-ending circle of life, Earth's boundary and the knowledge of the universe. These structures have great spiritual, ceremonial and astronomical significance. The most famous in Bighorn National Forest, Wyoming, is around 1,000 years old. However, Major Vilcan at Alberta in Canada is around 5,500 years old. More ancient grids, the breastplate of Aaron, the high priest of the Israelites from the Bible's book of Exodus, was made of 12 gemstones and created so Aaron, the elder brother of Moses, could communicate with God. The ancient practice of Feng Shui, which focuses on the five elements, earth, metal, water, wood and fire. Part of its practice is to arrange items in a particular order within the home. This is to create a connection to the natural world in order to harness life force energy and establish balance and harmony between an individual and their environment. The principles of Feng Shui have become a well-known method of crystal gridding a house, with certain points of the house relating to certain elements and crystals. In fact, Mother Earth has her very own grid, Her matrix of interconnecting energy lines traverse the entire planet in one massive grid, the central point being the Earth's own iron core. The ancient Greek philosopher Plato documents knowledge of this and its possible connection to the lost city of Atlantis. Other ancient cultures also show awareness of an Earth grid, from the Hopi Indians and Babylonians to the Chinese and the Australian Aboriginals to the Mayans and, of course, the Egyptians. Supposedly, the latter plotted their Great Pyramid of Giza around one grid intersection, known as a power spot, and other civilizations located their shrines and capital cities on these power spots too. Another famous and more recent grid would be the International Reiki World Peace Grid, which is in fact three crystal grids placed at the North and South Poles and the site of Old Jerusalem. Its purpose is to facilitate humanity in working together to create world peace amongst all people of Earth. So when we create our crystal grids today, perhaps we can acknowledge our ancestors and tap into their wisdom and guidance. Maybe some part of us recognises our ancestral history and connection as we continue the habit of creating repeating patterns to connect with the divine and the world around us. To find out more, check out my other short videos on crystal grids. Thank you for being here. Love and crystal sparkles. Jade.